I got my camera out to take a before picture and Nico promptly sat down in front of the piece. So there you go, Nico. There's your five seconds of fame. Well, this week we've got ourselves a dresser manufactured by Drexel Studios. It is an American made piece and this guy's in pretty decent shape overall. Uh, so for this project, I'm going to make this into a weekend project and see if we can't transform this dresser from this outdated, somewhat worn to something new and spectacular in just one weekend. I am going to try and reuse this hardware. It is solid bronze and it does have a hand rubbed oiled finish to kind of give it that worn antique look. Now this piece has just a couple of minor repairs that need to be made. I'll add some screws to reattach that top and some of the drawers need new drawer slides. Now this is a big mirror and I don't typically finish mirrors with projects, but this time I'm going to. Now I may regret that. We'll see how that finishes in the end. Now step one I have here is to get the hardware off. Uh, I mentioned earlier that I will be reusing this hardware, uh, so I want to be sure to keep all of the screws and the various parts. But it did have a couple of fake screw plates, not screw, uh, key plates uh, on the, the fronts of these top drawers. It took me a little bit to figure out how they were attached, uh, but I did eventually pop those off. Uh, they were simply glued in place. This dresser was finished with a spray lacquer when it was originally manufactured. So I grabbed my random orbital sander and a 220 grit sanding pad, and I gave the entire piece a nice scuff sand, looking just to add a little bit of scratchiness to that lacquer finish uh, to give my primer a really good surface to bond to in the next step. The places my power sander couldn't reach, I just grabbed some sandpaper and, and went over it by hand, doing the same thing, just trying to scuff up that top surface. And right about now, I'm starting to look at the feet of this dresser, and I'm wondering if I can do something to modernize this and give it a little bit lighter look. With the sanding completed, now it's time to go ahead and get all of that dust off this piece. I didn't really show it in this series, uh, but I ended up washing this piece a couple of times just to get all of that dust off. And again, getting it ready for that primer, which preparation is the most important step in any furniture flip. Now I do have a couple of holes uh, that I won't be using where those key, those fake key plates were. Uh, so using a little bit of the two-part epoxy wood filler, I'm gonna go ahead and fill those holes. That'll give that glue a chance to dry before I sand it off and, and get a coat of primer on it. These top drawers had a couple of uh, decorative plates that I won't be reusing. So I'm using this wood filler to fill in those little holes. Now this dresser is a really heavy piece and I have not tipped it back on its, its back to see how these feet are attached or even what's going on underneath the piece. So I'm pretty excited to take a look and see if there's any way that I can easily take these feet off. I was super excited to see that these feet were simply screwed on. It only took me a couple of minutes and a few screws and I was able to get both of those feet off. Real simple. Yes, you did see that. I dropped the dresser and it came just a couple of inches from hitting me uh, on my foot.
That jumped me. Uh, it made me realize I gotta stop and think a little bit more when I'm picking up these pieces, especially these heavy ones. I decided before I hurt myself or anybody else that I'd stop and have some lunch. Uh, so I took this opportunity to get my hardware stew going. I'm going to go ahead and simmer this hardware in a mixture of white distilled vinegar and water over medium heat. And I'll kind of let that simmer while I'm eating my lunch. And that's going to hopefully dissolve the, the top coat off of this hardware so I can get to at that rubbed oiled finish in another step. I'm going to go ahead and jump online and order up uh, some new feet and new drawer slides while I'm eating my lunch. And then it's back out to the shop, add the primer. Now I will be using a fusion mineral paint and I'm using a, a dark color, the midnight blue. So a primer isn't 100% necessary. Now I do tend to feel more comfortable personally using a primer. It's what I'm used to. Uh, so I typically will prime most of my pieces. I'm using a shellac based primer by Ben uh, for this piece. It's really a great product for working in your garage in February because uh, it really doesn't have any temperature limitations or at least none that I'd want to work in. Cleanup is kind of a bummer, uh, but I simply bag my rollers and brushes for the next project. Well, this is the end of day number one. Uh, so to celebrate, Nico and I went out for a nice evening hike in the woods. I brought the piece into my entryway for day two of this transformation. I want to have the wood be at room temperature when I apply the, the paint to it. But before I get to the paint step, I went over the entire piece with a real fine sandpaper, just looking for any blemishes in that primer and making sure it's a silky smooth surface for this fusion mineral paint. I'm using a foam roller to apply the paint to the top of this dresser. Now one thing with the foam roller is they do load up with paint and you've got to be very careful not to apply too much pressure or you'll end up with roller marks. And you can see I have a couple of those on the right hand side. Now if you do get those, it's not the end of the world. Uh, when that paint dries, you can sand them out, uh, but it's best just not to start with those in the first place. So just use light, light pressure with that roller. If you're getting some value out of this video or having a good time and you're thinking to yourself, man, we should hang out sometime. Well, we can. You just go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit that little like button. And next time I upload a video, uh, we can hang out again. So don't be shy. Go ahead and hit that subscribe. As soon as I started painting this mirror, I remember that hack where you can put the playing card between the glass and the wood, and that way you don't have any paint on your glass when you're done. And right now, I thought this was the best tip ever. And it actually it turned out to be the worst tip ever. So stick around and you'll see what happened with, with this idea. I had a couple of hours before I could put the second coat of paint on, so I changed my focus to the hardware. I used the Zep degreaser and rubbed each piece down, and that really did a great job at taking that oiled finish off. And as soon as I was done processing those pieces, I grabbed my barkeeper's friend and began to polish them. And let me tell you guys, there was a lot of hardware and I think I stood at this sink for a couple of hours polishing these pieces. And unfortunately, in the end, they did polish up nice, but they polished to a bronze look, maybe a brass. And I was looking more for gold. So in the end, after a couple of hours, I did give in and hit these guys with a light coat of metallic gold spray paint. And that really updated the pieces. It made them all even. Um, and it was the look you know, that I was shooting for.
This is a couple of days later. The new legs have just arrived in the mail um, and this is about 10 o'clock at night. And I thought I'd go uh, pull these cards out, add the legs and take some pictures for my listing on Facebook Marketplace. And I realized that I didn't pull these cards out when the paint was wet. And this paint has essentially glued every playing card to the mirror. Let me tell you, this was a frustrating moment as I looked around and saw probably 50 cards, each one of them glued. Now I did end up turning the camera off. Um, it took me maybe an hour and a half to get the cards out. Uh, yeah, that happened. It just took me a couple of minutes to add the drawer slides that were broken on these drawers. And then I changed my focus to the legs. And they went on real simple. I marked the holes. And because this is a hardwood, this is a maple base, I did pre-drill each of the holes. And that way I don't risk splitting any of this wood. And then what I like to do when I'm screwing something on that has multiple screws is I'll put each one in three quarters of the way, but I don't make them tight until I get all the screws started. Then I go back and tighten down each of the screws. And that way everything lines up just the way that you want it to. With the gold hardware and gold legs, I grab some of this rub and buff gold detailing wax and I brought that gold color from the base of the unit up into the mirror to tie the whole thing together. The weekend transformation plus a couple of hours is now done. I hope you guys enjoy this reveal and we'll see you again next time.